Okay, guys, I tell you what, let's go ahead and get started. We're doing another PLC programming today. We're going to be looking at set and reset. Now, there's lots of times as we start to advance in PLC that we need to turn a motor on, then turn it off, and turn it back on, and turn it back off during the process. And I'll give you an example. An example would be uh, like in class yesterday, we did a candy bar, making a candy bar. So we added chocolate and we added milk chocolate, then those need to go off and a mixer comes on. We add more milk, more chocolate, and mixer comes back on, and then finally it dumps out. So you have to be able to turn a motor on and turn it off inside of a program. Well, you do that using set and reset. So let's uh, I'll tell you what, let me share my screen, and we, if I can find share. Let me share my screen, and we're going to go to our... There it is. All right. Um, let's start just by putting in a, an output. Um, going to put in just, a, let's go to set instruction. Let's go put a normally open switch in. We're going to call it X001. And I have not put stuff into my address picker. Now, I would encourage you to always do that especially as we get more advanced in this programming. Right now, I know that I have a, uh, an output or an input. I'm going to come over and I'm going to set a timer now. Let's see, where are our timers? And our timer is going to be T1. Again, I haven't set an address picker. I should have. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to set it for one second. What I'm saying is I want the input to come on after one second. This is a time on delay. And with any luck, it's going to pop up there in a minute. There she be. All right. So now we're going to come down here to T1. So we're going to put an open contact. We're going to put T1. That's our timer. T1 would be our timer. And now we're going to compare. We're going to put a compare in, which we've talked about in the past. And we're going to use TD. Now, TD is the time that's actually running on the clock on T1. So uh, we're going to use T1. And we're going to say, if it's less than five seconds, if it's less than five seconds, we want the time uh, uh, less than five seconds, right? We would, and that's okay. So we're saying on timer one, if it's less than five seconds, we would like to have the output and we would like to have the set. Now set means we're going to turn it on, okay? And we're going to use Y101. Okay, so that's our first light, our first LED. Okay, and now we're going to come down here. We're going to do T1. Uh, we're going to do an open switch, an open contact. We're going to T1, and that's okay. Now we're going to come over and compare. We're going to compare. Uh, and this time, if it's greater than five, let's say greater than six. T1, T1 is greater than six. That gives us a little cushion. Is greater than six. Okay. Uh, we can't use that instruction. That's because it's TD1, not T1. TD, delayed time, right? TD1. And if it's greater than six, sorry. We're going to have an output, and our output is going to be a reset. Reset means we're going to turn it off. If you have a set, you have to have a reset. So now we're going to turn it off. And we're going to turn it off with a reset. And we're going to turn off Y001. Now, this allows me to give it a, a second address. If I don't, if I just use an out, when I turn it off on a second address, I've already said, don't, don't turn on, never turn on. But with a reset and reset, I can turn it on and turn it off. So let's go to uh, uh, the end here and put an end statement in. Okay, that's our program. So I think we've got it all. So I guess now I'm going to transfer it over to the PLC. Make sure it's on stop. Uh, I'm going to transfer it to the PLC. 
and we're going to write it to, to the PLC. It says you want to con connect. Now I'm going to go, of course. Maybe I missed, eh? Of course, there we go. Okay. It's compiling. I have no errors, no warnings. That's always positive, right? Going to have a new project. We're going to put set and reset. Set and reset. I, I can't have that slash in there. So I'm just going to put reset. Uh, reset. Okay. We're ready. We're going to download it and send it over. Everything's looking good. Transfer complete. Okay, we're ready to try it. So let's go to monitor. Let's go to system monitor, my, uh, status monitor. You'll see the reset's already on. So now we have to turn our timer on or our PLC on, right? The PLC is on now. We're ready to turn on light switch number one. I turn it on. Oh, no. I don't have a reset. I forgot the reset, guys. So here we go. How come it did that? I wonder. Do I have that in milliseconds? Let's go take a look at this. Yeah, I do. So I had one. I should have second. Okay. Sorry. One second. I should have looked at that. Okay, we're going to send it back down to the PLC. It's writing it. It's writing it. There it is. I have to turn it, get it, shut it off. Mine is not a edit while running. It's complete. We're going to go ahead and put it in monitor again. We're going to go back to the status monitor. We're going to turn it on. And this time, we'll see if it works. It came on. Now the question is, will it go off at six? And it went off. So that's how we turn on and turn off a motor. Now they can run continuously on, I don't care. It's only gonna run for a while until it shuts off. So we have turned a motor on and turned it off. Now we can use that in a variety of different ways. Uh, again, with the chocolate or with, a, uh, we were looking at a, a, an elevator, a grain elevator where the, the conveyor belt, uh, we had to open the gate and stop it and then, uh, the conveyor belt was running. We wanted the conveyor belt to, to stop. And then we wanted to start again. So there's lots of applications for set and reset. So that's it for today. Your assignment will be to use, develop a program uh, that shows set and reset. And then we'll, we'll get a, a, an assignment up and going on something that uses set and reset. Okay. So until next time, we'll see you. Have a great time. Good luck. If you have questions, make sure and let me know and we can correct them.